Last Monday, for the first time this growing season, the USDA started including harvest data on their weekly crop progress update. And as of a week ago, the U.S. corn crop was about 5% harvested, with growers across the Corn Belt just starting to nose their combines into those cornfields. Chad Colby caught a couple Illinois growers out this past week starting work on that corn. But that means 95% of the corn crop hasn't yet come out, and weather will determine the speed at which that happens. Joining us now is meteorologist Greg Solier with a fall weather outlook. And Greg, what do you expect to see in this next month? Uh, still, you know, El Nino and a high overdrive, certainly in the short term, some pretty good progress. And over the next month or so, yeah, I think we'll still get some good harvest numbers, uh, progress out there. 35 to 40 percent mature on corn and beans at the current time. Most of that really has been hastened and showing up in the western sections here, coming off the heat and uh, dry time of this past summertime season. Nonetheless, some cool air once in a while will make its presence felt. Big sky country, northern plains, upper Midwest, and the Canadian prairie, and still some late season weather warm for the eastern states uh, down through the delta southwestern reaches of the country. Temps will tend to vary or be about normal in this particular part of the country. The storm track here and for some this is good news. Others yeah will lead to some harvest delays. Uh, yes and the tropics are still active by the way over the western Atlantic but moving out to sea nonetheless the Pacific Northwest good news big sky country above average moisture southern Canadian prairie probably the season's uh, first snows continue on there and for the uh, sections of the northeast of New England as well but look at the expanse of uh, western and southern Corn Belt locales, normal or below on precipitation. Not good news here over the south end of winter wheat and the desert southwest as well. So again, manageable and workable as we go through uh, mid-October. All right, that'll take us to mid-October. Greg, how do things look from mid-October through about Thanksgiving? Some of that cool and cold air kind of uh, rotates north and eastward up towards Hudson Bay, James Bay. Readings back to average or normal throughout much of the Corn Belt, uh, both east and west. And it'll mean probably average or normal frost and freeze days to the warmth over Texas up to the Ohio Valley back down through Florida. Another ribbon here across our uh, parts of the West and Pacific Northwest. And again, it's more of a Northwest to Southeast almost zonal flow. So nothing getting out of control. We don't have the big buckles, the U shaped configurations to the jet stream pattern. Things just kind of ride and glide along. Good news with moisture in the Pacific Northwest Canadian border upper Midwest. Still a pretty good area of uh, Plain States areas that are be I mean, probably some worsening drought conditions, but favorable harvest here across Across much of the Corn Belt, wet weather continues on with maybe a tropical system or two over sections of uh, the southeastern portions of the country. All right, Greg. Well, now let's take us to the end of the year from Thanksgiving through Christmas. How do things shake out? Uh, hopefully trying to keep mama happy because you don't want to be in the combine at Thanksgiving and I don't think you will here and look at how we've kind of really reversed roles here. Cool weather over this part of the country. Warm ridging. It's El Nino. This is a typical setup here. Uh, above average temperatures for much of the northern and eastern Corn Belt, northern plains to the eastern states and uh, readings as well. A bit above average across the Pacific Northwest precipitation wise. This is why don't push it. Safety first. We'll get it done soon enough here. Uh, precip below average for the northern plains, upper midwestern reaches of the country, and a typical El Nino setup of wet weather over the southern states. Lots to watch from a forecast perspective, Greg. It doesn't look like this year is going to end quietly, huh? Uh, going to be an active one here early on, but again, El Nino still into high overdrive. El Nino is going to be setting the table. Well, as always, Greg Solier, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your expertise weekly here on This Week in Agribusiness.